feel you. So, uh, what kind of what kind of testing are they doing for the fight? Have, have you even been told? Because I'm I'm wondering how 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 hot Jake's running right now. Mm. <laughs> well, he's got to be hot if he went from you know two ten. If he really did go to two thirty, he had to use you know something he had to do something to get there i don't know how the testing is going to be they may test me and not test him that's fine um i feel like you know i've fought people who are on it i know i've trained pe with people who are on the juice and you know it is what it is you can test me any day of the week i eat mike perry and joe rogan just dropped a bombshell they exposed Jake Paul for allegedly taking illegal substances to gain an unfair advantage on fight night. It's deja vu, folks. Remember when Ryan Garcia took drastic measures to beat Devin Haney by popping meds before their bout? Now it looks like the problem child, Jake Paul, might be following in his controversial footsteps. If these claims are true, it's a shocking revelation that could shake up the boxing world. Jake Paul is set to fight Mike Perry this July 28th. But there's one thing this Paul brother does not want you to know. Despite not being a natural heavyweight, Paul is stepping into the ring at a whopping 230 pounds. If that doesn't raise some eyebrows, what will? Mike Perry isn't holding back either. He's got plenty to say about this jaw-dropping weight gain. You questioned Jake's weight. When I sparred him a couple years ago, I was 179, 180 and he was 195, maybe 205. To put on 25 pounds, I don't know how someone does it, I guess, without a cheat code. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, maybe, you know, I could just be saying that just to mess with him. Um, he does look flubbery and, you know, whatever. And I also told him I don't think you were 230 because if he was, 195 to 205 in those couple years ago when I sparred him. I think maybe at largest he could get up to almost 220. And here's the kicker. Jake Paul tried to cover up his scheme by posting a video saying that making weight is the last thing on his mind. But let's be real. Jake didn't bulk up by munching on junk food. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes than he's letting on. Jake Paul needs every advantage he can get in this fight because Mike Perry is no joke. Jake's only hanging on in the boxing world because he knocked out a few guys here and there. But here's the catch. Every single one of those opponents was retired and way past their prime. They were all cherry-picked for Jake to boost his record. Now, he's up against Mike Perry, who wasn't originally in the plan. Perry was handed to Jake after Mike Tyson had to pull out due to a medical emergency. This fight is shaping up to be Jake's toughest challenge yet. Joe Rogan stirred up some controversy by backing Mike Perry as his favorite going into the fight with Jake Paul. Can you blame him? Perry is the face of Bare Knuckle FC, a fighter who can really pack a punch. Yo, how many people are counting out Mike Perry? Isn't that interesting? I'm not counting. Bro, it's wild to me. And then in all the comments, like, oh, dude, you must think it's Bare Knuckle. This is box. And I'm like, Oh, you don't know what a fucking dog Mike Perry is. Yeah, he's a pit bull. You need to do your goddamn research. Mike There's Perry no is, quit. He's a game-bred pit bull. He's going to get in your fucking bull. face for all eight of those rounds. And he always like, oh, this is a gimmick fight. I'm like, you're a f moron. But you're in the Mike Tyson fight? <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Mike Perry's dangerous. That's a super, the most super dangerous, dangerous fight. When is the Mike Tyson fight? It's December. supposed to be in November. Supposed to be. But that is... <laughs> Who knows if it's ever going to happen? I mean, Mike has ulcers. He does. He's a 58 the year most old man. Old man with thing ulcers. ever to get yeah. out of the fight. Oh, Mike. That's Mike like Tyson. a CEO problem. Yeah. yeah. He got on a plane. Yeah. Mike Perry's fighting in July. It's July 20th. Yeah. Yep. The in Mike Tyson Tampa. fight is in uh, November in Tampa, Florida, which is like Mike. That's Mike Perry's, like, that's his source. This fight is already heating up, especially with Joe Rogan's involvement. Joe had plenty to say about Paul and Perry. And if you're a Jake Paul fan, you won't like any of it. Rogan's insights are throwing more fuel on the fire, making this showdown even more intense. It's shaping up to be a battle you won't want to miss. I overwhelm you this. with pressure. I'm going to hit you hard. My significant strikes are going to hurt you. Everywhere that they land, they're going to hurt. You're going to duck into some shots. If you don't duck like you used to, oh. and you come forward on me at all, 
then I'll have to change up, but I'll be faster than you. You're you're too heavy now. I don't believe you were ever too thirty. Mike Perry is in for all the smoke, and you can see the tension slowly getting to Jake Paul as we get closer to the fight. This Paul brother has bitten off more than he can chew. Fighting a guy like Mike Perry is the one thing that can put an end to the Jake Paul hype train. Don't forget that Mike's MMA and bare knuckle background is going to make this fight rough enough to give him the edge over Paul. Just take a look at what Joe Rogan said about Platinum Perry that for sure got under Jake's skin. Bare knuckle is way better than traditional boxing. That's where Mike Perry shines. Fucked up Luke Rockhold in his last fight, made him quit, knocked his teeth out. Dude. He's fucking everybody up. Because he's such an animal. Like if you're tough, and there's not a tougher human being alive than Mike Ooh. Perry. And he's good, man. He knows how to fight bare knuckle. He's clever. A lot of people that go over to bare knuckle are surprised how little protection you have and how much it hurts. And Mike Perry has developed a style where he holds his hands like real rigid like this. So if you're Luke Rockhold and you're fighting Mike Perry, this is your first bare knuckle fight, you never fought bare knuckle because you certainly aren't training bare knuckle. It's a different experience. Now you see Rogan hyping up Perry like he's a Muhammad Ali of our generation. But hey, Perry is still the toughest challenge of Paul's life. And even though Jake is posting a lot of training footage as an attempt to scare Perry, he knows that the only way to win this fight is by cheating. And that's the route Jake is going down on. I'm in school, Perry! Time to go back to school! Get W at Walmart! And let's not forget, this isn't Jake's first time being called out by his opponent for alleged drug use. Remember his fights with Tyron Woodley? The first bout was a nail-biter, but the second was a whole different story. Jake knocked Woodley out with one punch. Impressive? Yes. Suspiciously so? Absolutely. Jake played the cheat card before, and it worked. Now he seems to be repeating history with Mike Perry. Buckle up, because this showdown is about to get even more intense. Speaking went of bumps, went right over it. Those, those little bumps you had on your face kind of alarmed me. You wouldn't be happy to take PEDs, are you? Listen, if you want to build in excuses right now, no, I'm just asking. go ahead. Because I was just wondering. I looked ahead. at your face. It looked kind of silly. You had some rage and you're acting all unorthodox. You know, those are signs of the PEDs. I'm, I'm enraged. I'm not enraged at all. Are you taking PEDs? No, sir. Not at all? OK. No, sir. If Jake has done this before, he won't hesitate to do it again, especially if it boosts his credibility as a boxer. For Jake, it's all about winning, even if it means bending the rules. With more on the line than ever, he's ready to do whatever it takes to secure his place in the boxing world. I'm a fat kid at heart, so like, I fucking love food. So I do uh, cheat, if you will, and- and That's okay. And, and I also, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like it's in a way that is affecting me. But I think once I'm slightly older, I'll probably get into like a super good intermittent fasting and healthier, cleaner. I think it's a coin toss. You're either going to be fat because you can eat whatever you want, whenever you want, or you're going to go down that route. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm basically going to drink tequila and intermittent fast. Yeah, That's what's, good. That's good. What's Jake Paul going to look like after his boxing career? I'll, I'll probably now these rumors about Jake's shady tactics are spreading like wildfire across the internet. And you know things would have escalated even more if Jake hadn't addressed the issue immediately. So he did just that. In typical Jake Paul fashion, he jumped right in to manage the narrative on his podcast. But will his response be enough to quiet the storm? Steroids and all this shit. So I have a plan. Uh, because I think it's fucking bizarre. That's like the only excuse they can come up with is like rigged fights. Jake Paul does steroids. So after boxing, I'm going to do a cycle of steroids <laughs> to show people what Jake Paul on steroids actually looks like. Fair. Also, let's not forget that even Nate Diaz called Jake out for being juiced up. That's three accusations now. I don't know about you guys, but this doesn't seem like a coincidence to me. With so many fighters pointing fingers, it's hard to ignore the pattern. And just take a look at this video of Jake Paul. He looks like he's been training to compete for Mr. Olympia. His muscle gains are off the charts. 
raising even more questions about how he bulked up so quickly. But hey, Mike Perry still believes he's going to run through Jake like a truck, regardless of whatever Jake might be on. The tension is heating up by the hour, with Perry constantly firing shots at Jake Paul, and Paul replying back with his signature style. I know Mike Tyson says everyone has a plan so they get punched in the face, but I like getting punched in my face. That's because you're a fucking idiot. What makes me good at fighting That's is I don't like getting punched in the face, and I practice not to. That's what I'm going to teach you in the sport of boxing, you little bitch. It's funny that you call this fight Fear No Man because you will be terrified on July 20th. What's there to be scared of? You're just a Mike appetizer. A little Mike mozzarella stick just gets you right before the main course. Mike Tyson, November 15th. But July 20th, I'm going to show you who your dad is. That's for sure. It's going to be a big fight. Most of the pros are backing Perry to wipe the floor with the problem child. Former MMA star Daniel Cormier didn't hesitate to tip the scales in favor of Mike Perry leading up to this fight. Can Mike Perry stalk him in the way that he stalks these guys in bare knuckle? And does the damage make Jake Paul start to question himself like he did to Luke Rockhold? What we have learned about Jake is that he possesses enough skills to cause problems for many in the boxing ring. He's going to be bigger than Perry. He's going to have more boxing experience than Perry. But does that equate? If I'm being honest with you, I believe that Mike Perry wins this fight. I think Mike Perry is going to make this fight just ugly enough to beat Jake. But if he doesn't, and if his game plan isn't ideal, he will find himself putting himself in dangerous areas, and Jake Paul can crack. But hey, it's going to be a tough challenge for Perry, especially with Jake rumored to be entering the ring all juiced up. The big question now is whether Perry can live up to expectations and thrill the fans by knocking out Jake Paul, or will the Jake Paul hype train once again steamroll through the competition? So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon, so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.